Okay, so here's the finished wedge, and uh, this is how it fits. So, sure my plug doesn't fall away through the mouth, and I can just drop it in, and it should be able to just sit nicely there. Uh, I haven't actually got my iron all the way down, but. And here it's already tight, uh, just for those few light caps there with the hammer. And um, this is pretty much your plane done. Uh, there's a few small things. Um, one thing I've already done is I've, you can see here, I've sort of chamfered this mouth area here. This is just done by a, a file, half round file, just filing both ends. This is just to kind of smooth off the corner, uh, you know, get your hand in there so it's nice and smooth. And I've already put one coat of tongue oil on the, the plain body. Um, you know, you can use any finish you want. You can use boiled linseed oil. Um, I wouldn't recommend varnishing. Uh, I would recommend a, a more kind of thin oil type finish. But, um, you know, this is pretty much done. And the next thing to do, or the final thing to do, is to uh, flatten the sole. And we're going to be doing that with uh, basically sheets of MDF with sandpaper stuck to them. So I'll get that ready and come back and show you. So now it's time to flatten the sole of the plane. And um, what I've got here is two sheets of, I think, 18 millimeter MDF thickness here, uh, stacked up on each other. And this is uh, the length of the plane. And I've just got this on my uh, little stool bench thing. And the reason I have two sheets stacked on top of each other here is because one sheet has a tendency to flex um, if you have a slightly uneven surface under it, so it won't be a flat surface. So I've got two here stacked on each other to provide a, a bit more of a, a more stable surface and flat. Um, joint to plane doesn't have to be like stupidly, like, you know, perfectly flat. Uh, as long as it's kind of flat enough to do the work, it's good. So. MDF is probably way flat enough. Um, you can use sheet glass or whatever, but um, you know I think MDF or the melamine covered stuff uh, will be fine. So I've got that, and I've got two strips of uh, 3M240 adhesive backed uh, paper. And basically, I've got my plane uh, with its iron in, but retracted slightly, and the wedge fully seated. Uh, um, you know, tapped into full tension so that it puts all the forces that you'll ever put on the plane in place so that when you flatten it, it will, uh, you know, be flat as you use it. So that's all set up here and basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly, without putting much down pressure, the weight of the plane enough is, itself is enough to do the abrasive abrasive action. And depending on the amount of material that you need to remove, um, you'll get a kind of series of scratch patterns along the bottom. And as I said, um, I, I'd already actually squared up the sole and flattened it with a, a hand plane uh, previously, but it wasn't truly flat. So what I'm doing here is kind of fine tuning. Um, depending on you know how flat you had it before, you might need to do more or less of this sanding. And um, also, if you have a mouth that isn't opened yet, you will either need to plane that down first to open up the mouth a little bit before you start sanding, or you can just sand until the mouth is open to your like like likening. Um, but you know, this is the kind of basic process. Uh, keep going until you have a nice even scratch pattern all the way along the sole of the plane, and that will tell you that it will be as flat as your kind of reference surface, in my case, MDF. And so, you know, just keep going. Don't rush it and don't put any kind of weird, uneven pressure on it as you're pushing it. Just uh, give it nice and gentle kind of forward and back uh, pulls and let the weight of the plane do the work. Um, so when I've done this, um, I'll get back to you and I'll show you the little tweaks that you can do and also maybe show some test shavings taken with the plane. So here I've uh, finished tuning up the sole 
and um, I'm just going to go over a few more little tweaks that you can do. First thing is you can round off this back end here. Um, it's optional, but it's just kind of nice so you don't keep catching on it every time you uh, go to pick it up and stuff. Um, another thing is a strike button. This is probably the most important thing. Um, you want something to hit either on the toe here or at the butt end here um, because uh, when you retract the blade you either hit one of these two places and if you don't have anything to hit there you're just going to mar up the surfaces so um, you know although it's not really kind of critical that you do anything about it but, um, it's just kind of for looks so I'm going to inlay a toe piece here uh, maybe a brass dowel uh, something like an inch diameter but it's up to you, you can use hardwood or anything and um, I'm, I'm probably just not going to show it in this series of videos because all it is is just drilling a hole with a force in a bit and dropping your brush, brass dowel in and epoxying it in place so it's a pretty simple job but it's, it's a good improvement because it prevents you from um, you know, whacking the top of the plane or the back of the plane with a, a hammer and leaving sort of dents uh, the final thing you want to do to the plane is to finish it and I'm just going to rub a kind of thin, a few thin coats of tongue oil, the pure tongue oil, not the kind of weird additive added stuff. Um, you can use boiled linseed oil or you know Danish oil or whatever but you don't want to use varnish because varnish is just tacky really, it's not not very nice finish. Um, especially for a plane on the sole you want it to be smooth and slick so an oil finish is ideal um, but you know you can do whatever you want basically but uh, so here I'm just going to show it quickly in action um, this is a block of uh, laminated stock I'm going to be using from the stretcher of my bench I'm making now and this is Doug fir this actually doesn't plane very well um, it kind of splinters and stuff but I'll show you now I haven't actually got a bench so this is kind of awkward, but you can see planes beautifully. And flows straight out of the mouth. That's good. So yes, it works beautifully. Um, I hope you enjoy making yours, and more importantly, I hope you enjoy using it. Um, so here we go, uh, a laminated, uh, the second lamination method for a wooden traditional styled jointed plane.